My Chief Operating Officer Operation. role is uh, to look after the operations of uh, the corporate franchise operations, uh, guys who run those parts of the business for me. Um, I also oversee uh, our marketing director in, in charge of marketing mm -hmm. and our development director for uh, development of stores. So basically those four core tasks. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the, the reality is people like service today. Um, they've got busier lifestyles. If we can, particularly with the internet, if we can bring the order to the house exactly when they want it, exactly how they want it, um, that's a big advantage over the burger guys, the chicken guys. So I think we're fortunate to have that system in place that's been working now for over 50 years. Um, the challenge is making sure that you run that system to optimal ability. We're in probably the toughest times we've seen in our history, um, particularly the, the costs, the cost of delivery drivers, the cost of uh, deliveries themselves. Um, so it's, it's up to us to find ways around that and obviously scooters has been one way that we've seen that we have to find a way around with it. Um, with scooters comes the challenges of safety etc so we have to be extremely safe and there's no doubt that the, um, you know, the, the, the scooter lit signs have been a great invention because of two reasons. One is we can continue to drive the marketing of our business like we did with car top signs but more importantly the safety of our drivers, the drivers feel, the riders rather feel safer on the scooters. Um, so I think it's a win-win it's a for us. In the US they actually had a car top sign with a unique phone number that was not advertised anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And over a period of a year it had $1,700 in sales just from that, that phone number. Mm -hmm. Now there would have been a lot of people that saw the car top sign and that ordered pizza but didn't see the number. On the website. On the website, yeah. etc. But just that phone number alone was $1,700 alone. Wow. You multiply that by 10 or 15 drivers, mm. it's massive. So it does it proves you go out and try and pay for a, a car or a truck to drive around all day and the costs are astronomical. So it really does pay for itself. Ninety nine percent of the deliveries are done on scooters. Mm -hmm. uh, winter, summer, the whole lot. So we're talking through snow, through ice. There's very few accidents. So that gives me heart that we can do it here in Australia. I mean, if we can do it in Europe, why can't we do it here? It looks quite unique and stands out. Mm -hmm. So when somebody sees a scooter on the road with a car uh, or, or a scooter lit sign, if you like, um, it stands out, it looks unique, and we're one of the few companies using it. So I think that is a big advantage where we stand out from the rest of the crowd. Mm -hmm. Scooters are about one third of the running cost of a small car. Mm -hmm. Electric scooters are, are basically almost zero. Mm -hmm. Um, so clearly electric scooters is the direction we'd like to go in, in terms of uh, reducing emissions completely, but a petrol scooter is already much better than a small car. Yeah. Our winter city stores that are using them, Paddington, Spring Hill, etc. Mm -hmm. um, their sales growth has been fantastic, so I'd have to attribute part of that to the, the signs. Yeah, they definitely feel safer on the bikes because they're so lit up. Definitely feel safer. And, uh, and feedback from customers saying how they saw our scooters you know, going mm -hmm. around the streets and myself seeing scooters going around with the lit mm -hmm. signs. So it's very clear that you know, they're, they're f the riders feel safer and the consumers are noticing them. Mm -hmm. So it's a double win. It's mm -hmm. perfect. I think the big one is don't rush into buying a heap of scooters. Just buy one scooter, uh, get your own license, drive it yourself, get your manager to get his license. Make sure when you buy one, you have a G3 illuminator sign on top as well for safety. And, and once you get used to it, you realize, and this has happened before, is that it's actually not so bad. As long as everyone's trained and are doing the right thing on them, they're, they're very safe. And you'll see the savings in labor savings. You'll see the marketing advantage from it. And when you use a 2014, you'll have a solution for these high costs. If you want increased sales, maximum store exposure, and value for money, you've got to light it up. Yeah, costs are increasing. Wages, mileage, fuel, the improved safety is definitely worth the money. It lights everything up. I feel safer. We've got uh, four deliveries clustered together just for the scooter one. 
Visibility is everything. I think the lit signs on the scooters are invaluable to the business. This is your opportunity to light it up.